welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I am vegan. And I actually posted about this on Twitter asking if you guys would want to see it. I got a bunch of likes, so I'm assuming yes, maybe. I do want to say first of all that this video is not meant to offend anybody. I know that some people get really touchy when you talk about these kinds of things. It makes people feel uncomfortable. Um, it's kind of supposed to, not trying to be me, but part of being a human being is listening to things, hi dog, uh, listening to things that are going to make us feel uncomfortable being presented with different points of view. And I also want to say most of us were not born vegan. Um, I know I certainly was not, so this is not meant to make you feel bad. This is not to put myself on like a moral high ground or something. It is nothing like that. Just explaining um, why I am vegan, my kind of journey to becoming vegan. So without further ado, we are going to go into kind of my backgrounds. So I was born and raised in Florida and um, I actually used to live out in the middle of nowhere. We had like chickens and horses and bunnies and all sorts of animals and uh, I actually went vegetarian when I was 11 because I couldn't stand the thought of eating an animal basically like I would look at a hamburger and just see a cow like and I was just like I can't and I was lucky enough that you know my mom would make me a vegetarian meal and then make everybody else a different meal uh, because I know not everybody has that option when you're younger, so I know I was very lucky to have that. Um, I was vegetarian for 10 years, and then when I was pregnant with my son, I actually really craved meat, so I actually went back to eating meat for about a year and a half, two years maybe, um, while I was pregnant, and I felt a lot of pressure also from not that I wasn't pregnant that entire time, during pregnancy and then a little bit after. Um, but I remember feeling a lot of pressure from people saying like you can't be vegetarian or vegan when you're pregnant and I feel like I didn't research enough into it and I really took like what people were telling me to be true and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to hurt my baby and I'm craving it anyways. Um, yeah, it's a thing, it happened. Um, and then after uh, a while, I started looking into different um, diets for kind of health reasons because I know I, I wasn't eating um, correctly for a while. Um, I just had a lot of things going on and I was emotionally eating. And I actually came across a video by that vegan couple who I love. I'm going to link them down below. Um, and they were giving my suggestions on the side and I actually went and kind of binge watched a lot of videos and then I watched a ton on like Netflix and I just watched so much stuff and I read a bunch of stuff and um, I kind of went vegan, or at least plant-based uh, on a plant-based diet overnight because um, I just kind of, I just put two and two together. I mean, <laughs> I just kind of went vegan overnight and I mean the main reason why I'm vegan is because I love animals and this is a thing that I hope most of us feel, I hope, um, and most of us don't want to cause harm to animals. <laughs> I say most because there's always going to be some sickos out there, but I feel like when we are growing up we're taught that certain animals there are they're okay to eat and then other animals uh, are not, such as my dog laying over there staring at me currently. If somebody was to, you know, come in your house and slit your dog's throat, pretty sure you want to be okay with that, but we're okay with this mass killings of pigs and cows and things like this because we have been taught that that is somehow okay, even though pigs are actually more intelligent than dogs and these animals have feelings and personalities. I know this because cows are actually very affectionate creatures. I don't know if you know this. Um, <laughs> I always joke that I had a pet cow. Um, but yeah, they will recognize certain people. Um, they feel fear um, and they know what's going on. Like if you watch videos of animals who are being transported to a slaughterhouse, 
these animals, you can see it in their eyes. You can see their fear. They know what is happening. And no matter how they are raised, it's going to end in a slaughterhouse. Like I know a lot of people will make that jump to like um, grass fed or whatever, humane slaughter, which is an oxymoron. Um, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter how it's raised if it ends in slaughter. Um, I know I did that uh, for a while too. Like when I, wanna, I did go back to eating meat and even when I was vegetarian, I would get, because um, I still was consuming dairy and eggs and I would still try and get like organic or free range or blah, 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 blah. Which by the way, look up, the pic look up pictures of what free range means because it's not what you think. Um, but uh, I went, when I went, even when I went vegetarian, you have to remember I was 11 and the internet wasn't really what it is now. YouTube wasn't a thing yet. Certainly not a thing yet. Um, I feel old saying this. I'm only 26 and this makes me feel old. So even back then, I remember um, reading about things like what they would do uh, to chickens. Like they keep them in tiny cages where their legs become deformed and they get so fat so quickly that a lot of times their legs will actually break. And when, as newborns, uh, they'll actually cut their beaks off so they won't peck at each other because they are in this tiny space. And some of them will die of shock or hunger. And then the egg industry, actually I learned this after going vegan, um, they will like grind up baby male chicks because they have no use for them. Um, the dairy industry is awful, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna be leaving links and things to stuff down below because there's no way I can cover everything in one video, but oh my gosh um so with the dairy industry which it doesn't matter if it's a local farm or whatever it's the same process everywhere uh, you know they have to artificially inseminate because you need a calf to produce milk um and then almost immediately after birth the baby is taken if it is a female she will um be due to the same fate as her mother if it is a male he'll be killed within a matter of days um and you can watch videos of them taking these calves away from their mothers and it is truly heartbreaking like as a mother myself i want to cry watching those videos because they are screaming out for their babies like they they know what's happening and they have to experience this this over and over again and those dairy cows their lives are cut extremely short because their bodies cannot handle what we are putting them through and guess what happens when they are not profitable to the dairy industry anymore they go to the meat industry. So it's not fun. It's just, uh, there's so much. I even have notes in front of me and I feel like I just went on like a complete tangent. Um, Cause it really is my main reason for being vegan is my love of animals, not wanting to cause uh, cruelty to animals. And um, you know, if you watch me in here, you know that I, only purchase cruelty-free and vegan makeup and skincare products as well as like household products and things like that. Um, I did do a video on um, tips for going cruelty-free. If you want tips on like going um, vegan, whether it be like cosmetics or um, diet-wise, can definitely do those kinds of videos. Let me know down below if you would be interested. Um, it is obviously something that I am passionate about and I'm looking at my notes like, did I skip something? Um, yeah, uh, the next reason is because I care about the environment, which I usually get called a tree-hugging hippie at this point. And while I don't go around hugging every tree I see, I would like to keep them around. And animal agriculture is actually horrible for the environment. I feel like this is something not a lot of people know, to be honest, like I didn't know this um, until I started researching into it. If you want a good, uh, documentary to watch on it, go watch Cowspiracy on Netflix. It's fantastic. Um, I'm going to give you some quick little facts though. So, animal agriculture accounts for 18% of greenhouse gas emissions, which is more than all transportation exhaust. Animal agriculture utilizes 34 to 76 trillion gallons of water a year, which is far more than fracking at 70 to 140 gallon, billion gallons. Livestock covers 45% of our land. 
75% of the world's fisheries are exploited or depleted. Up to 91% of Amazon destruction can be attributed to animal agriculture. And that's really just a concise screenshot list of what animal agriculture is doing to the environment. And am I perfect when it comes to things I could be doing for the environment? Probably not. Do I, I'm definitely helping by being vegan. I try and do things like, you know, recycle, buy things that are biodegradable or made out of recycled material. I mean, nobody is perfect. And I feel like this is one of the things that people always say to vegans too, is that one person can't change everything or there's no way to be 100% vegan. So why even try? Which to me, both of those reasons aren't good reasons. Um, one, we are seeing an increase in uh, vegan substitutes because of veganism growing and we're seeing a decline in dairy sales because of it. Like there are so many things that are happening because of veganism. And I see these kinds of things all the time on social media and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and you know, if you say nobody can be 100% vegan, you're probably right. I'm sure I purchase things that aren't cruelty free or vegan. I'm sure it happens. I'm not perfect. I've definitely done it. I realized last week that I was buying cotton pads that weren't cruelty free. Why are cotton pads not cruelty free? I don't know. But I mean, I've been cruelty free vegan for almost two years now and it still happens. But that's not a reason to not do anything. Like, I just don't see why you would not do something when you actually have the research. Like if you don't know about these kinds of things, if you are unaware, uh, that's a different story. But like once you're aware to these things, I don't understand why you wouldn't want to at least try. Look into resources and things. Again, I can do a video on um, tips on going vegan if you want, because I know it can seem daunting. It can. And um, not everybody can go vegan overnight and that's completely understandable, but making steps in the right direction is always a good thing. And yeah, um, I feel like I just keep going on little rants. So the last reason I have was that I care about my health and the health of others. And obviously being vegan doesn't mean you're healthy automatically. I mean, you can get some vegan junk food. There's a lot of it. <laughs> Um, I'm sure you've seen me post about it on Instagram stories or something like I have definitely I definitely eat vegan junk food I'm not a raw food vegan If you are that's fantastic, but I definitely like my vegan junk food occasionally. I don't do it every day, but occasionally um, But eating animal products is the leading leading cause is ugh, I can't speak Eating animal products is linked to some of the leading causes of death, such as cancer and heart disease. And they've actually found that adopting a vegan diet after you have heart disease can actually reverse heart disease, which is pretty freaking amazing. Um, and they actually did a study where they were like, well, maybe it's because they're losing weight that it is reversing the heart disease. So they would keep people at the same weight, but still on the vegan diet and it still helped reverse it. So, that's a thing. Yeah, obviously, I'm going to leave studies and things down below. I'm not a medical professional, so I can't go into specifics. I'm not going to try and pretend like I can, but eating animal products is not healthy. And besides it not being healthy and bad for the environment, it is causing suffering and death for animals. In reality, this is just tip of the iceberg. Um, and I feel like I'm going on so many side rants and things, but you know, to the core I'm vegan because I don't want to use animals to my benefit. I see them as individuals. I don't feel like I have a right to them, which is why when people say like, oh, you're giving up so much being vegan. I'm like, no, because I don't see it as something that was mine to begin with. I don't see the animal's life as something that belongs to me. So to me, it's not giving up things. And, um, you know, there's so many vegan substitutes and things now too. And there are so many recipes and things out there. Like 
I don't eat bland. Like, I don't know. If you think I eat salad every day, I know a lot of vegans don't even really like salad. Um, yeah, no, I barely eat salad, and if I do, it's like covered in like fruit and veggies and all sorts of goodness. I mean, I don't sit there and just eat spinach. If you do, kudos, I can't. So to me, it's just not living in a bubble anymore, realizing that your actions are affecting, you know, the environment are affecting animals because a lot of times the excuse I hear is, well, it's my own personal choice. But your personal choice ends when it causes the death of another being. And that's why a lot of vegans are very adamant about uh, discussion and activism is because it, it really is not a personal choice when it comes to the animals. Like if you were, you know, a cow, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want somebody slaughter you. But if you would like to explore veganism more, I'm going to leave resources and channels and all sorts of things down below. Um, if you want to have a discussion down below um, discussing veganism and maybe like your thoughts about it or if you think I need to expand on something, obviously do that. Um, I don't want anybody attacking each other or anything. Um, so if you start to do that, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to delete your comment. Obviously you can, um, you can have constructive criticism. You can have discussions. That's fine. I'm talking about people that are like name calling and, and that's on both sides, like non-vegan or vegan. If I see it anywhere, stop it. <laughs> you can have a reasonable discussion without the name calling and whatnots. But um, I hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful. Um, I've been on YouTube for about six months now and I just felt like it was time to make this video and I'm looking at my time and I've been talking for 18 minutes. Oh my gosh. Um, if you guys would like me to discuss anything further, please let me know down below. It's kind of a loaded topic. Again, this is like tip of the iceberg kind of video, but I hope it was helpful. I hope you did like it. Um, I tried to be as, I don't know what the word for it is, sensitive to other people's feelings as possible. It's hard for me to talk about it and not get fired up because I feel very passionately about it. Uh, but that is really all I have for you guys right now. Uh, I hope you did like this video. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My links are in the thingamajigger. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!